section on license, liberty, and legalism. We'll start with the two brothers that Jesus mentioned in Luke chapter 15. The first was the younger, often referred to as the prodigal son. He took his inheritance from his father while still alive and went away and spent on, squandered his money on basically wine, women, and song. And then there is the elder brother who stayed behind, stayed with his father with his inheritance. And after his father celebrated the younger son's return, he grew angry, saying to the father, I have all these years I have stayed with you and I never violated any of your commandments, but yet when this son comes, you throw a feast for him. So look at the way of the younger son as the way of license. The way of the elder son is the way of legalism. Here's the basic attitudes and mottos associated with both ways, both which are in conflict with one another. The way of license, a person is irresponsible, whereas under legalism, they tend to be more responsible. Under the way of license, a person abhors boundaries and limits. Under legalism, we tend to love standards and want everyone else to live by them. Under license, the focus is on popularity and pleasures, whereas with legalism, the focus is on law and tradition. A person under license idolizes pleasure, whereas one under legalism idolizes the system. Model of license is wine, women, and song. Whereas with legalism, the model is the rule of law. Under license, models, rules were made to be broken. Whereas with legalism, rules improve a society. Under license, sin is fun. Whereas under legalism, fun is sin. Under license, enjoyment is life, whereas with legalism, sticking to the code is life. Continuing on with contrast, you could say license is all about preference, and legalism is all about principle. With license, it presumes that the God of love would never send anyone to hell, whereas with legalism, presumes that I can make myself worthy of heaven. However, there is another way known as liberty. Instead of preference or principle, the way of liberty relies upon the person. And that person is Christ himself. And the thought behind it is that one knows that this is how much Jesus loves you. So both license and legalism have this in common. Both are slaves to not following Christ. However, with the person, one is free to follow Christ. License, the emphasis is get life any way you can, whereas with legalism, the emphasis is life is earned. But with liberty, life is in Christ. With license, it's about being your old self, being yourself. With legalism, it's a fake transformation as though you can transform yourself by sticking with the rules. However, under liberty, it's being a new person in Christ. Now with characteristics of license, legalism, and liberty, with license, it's about passing pleasures, and legalism is on the oldness of the letter. Under liberty is the newness of life. With license, 
there is no new birth, rather it's I evolve. With legalism, there's also no new birth, but rather I transform myself with these legalistic practices. Under liberty, there's a new birth by the Holy Spirit. License, in essence, is fake salvation. And legalism, in essence, is fake righteousness. However, under liberty in Christ, there is true right righteousness and true salvation that come from him. Both those under license and under legalism, both are slaves to sin. But in the way of liberty in Christ, one is a slave to righteousness and salvation that he has in Christ. So both the ways of license and legalism are false, whereas the way of liberty is the true way, and that the way be in Jesus himself. So those under the false ways, what they fail to grasp is that sin ruins people. Those under license, they don't see that. Those under legalism don't understand that the law itself strengthens sin in people. As a matter of fact, the sin condition reacts to the law in the same way that, a that an automobile engine would react to nitrous oxide. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> some of your worst sins are committed by people under the law more so than people who go under license. This does not mean that the problem is the law, rather the problem is sin. And neither legalism nor license can handle it. However, with liberty, what both fail to grasp is that grace of Christ restores people, restores them to their new and true selves, restores them from that broken image of God to the new restored image in Christ. So the influence that this has on believers, the influence of license is that believers tend to take salvation in Christ for granted, whereas under legalism they tend to rely more on a belief system than on a person. Under license, believers tend to see green, grace as a means to get away with sin, whereas under legalism, they are more prone to trying to earn grace by their work, trying to earn God's favor through works. Under license, believers prone to not see the value of God's grace and forgiveness in Christ, whereas with legalism, it's hard to, for them to believe that he or she is forgiven in Christ. So in, in both instance, instances, under the influence of both ways, the believers tend to become downcast. Yet, however, looking upward to Christ, to his grace and favor that's always shining upon us, a person is uplifted and encouraged and grows more and more into his or her new and true image in Jesus Christ.